All right, we're back with the breakfast and plus TV Africa. Uh, my name is Kofi Bartels. Is Ballot 23 special? Ballot 2023 special. That happens to be my guy, the top moment right there. And I'd like to reintroduce our guests who were with us before um, we went on a break. Um, we had on Zoom um, public affairs Andes, who was giving us a blow by blow his thoughts on uh, the violence and reports of violence in the voting elections in Lagos State. Um, I'm talking about Honorable Dr. Oshinowo Ibrahim. Um, Dr. Oshinowo Ibrahim, are you there? Please, thank you so much for staying with us throughout the news. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Uh, we also have um, Mr. Ademi Saka, public affairs uh, commentator, political analyst. Ademi Saka, are you there, please? Okay. All right. Um, um, before we go back to the 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 um, the talk on violence, um, we have some news coming in. Of course, um, as far as the voting is concerned, then we can see that um, uh, there are there've been some uh, what do you call it again some upsets uh, from Lagos uh, local government areas, Lagos mainland, Lagos island. Uh, we have um, Ekpe, Ikorodu, Koshafe, Etiosa. Ibejoleki, uh, Ikeja, Badagri, Agege, Amuo Dofi, Shomolu, Suruleri, Apapa, Mushi, Ifakujae, Ajeromi, Ifelodu, Oshodi, Isolo. Uh, Oshodi, Isolo, of course, Alimo Sheno. These are results released by, um, by INEC and, um, of course, uh, at the Lagos State Coalition Center where we have a man on the ground. Hopefully, we'll get across to him as soon as possible. Um, but it seems to be um uh like we heard from our guests neck and neck uh, between apc and uh labor party from what we can see total of 488,063 uh, votes for uh apc in lagos state and a total of 471,944 uh for the labor party in lagos state as well as for the pdp 63,773 um, so this is what our guest, um, Dr. Shinoa, you were talking about. Um, we look at, for instance, Lagos, yes. Main, yes, Lagos Mainland, where the, this, these elections don't matter as far as local governments are concerned, but the overall number is what you know, matters at the end of the day. Um, we look at Lagos Mainland, for instance, where APC uh, had most of the votes with uh, 20,030, uh, Labour Party uh, 18,698, and PDP with 3,000 uh, and uh, five. Some people say three thousand and two. Um, uh, you know, for 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 me, uh, this this is um, indicative of um, the fact that you know people were allowed to uh, vote, but if if we didn't have the violence, uh, we would have had more votes going the way of some of these political parties, whoever whichever it is. You know, think of all those ballot papers that were snatched. Definitely, would have had more votes than this. Uh, Dr. Shino, especially you look at the fact that Lagos has. 7,060,000 registered voters. No, uh, the case is, is very simple. You know, I don't want us to, you know, um, uh, Plus TV is an um, international you know, media platform. I don't want us to base our discussion on Lagos State. You know, the issue about full voter suppression in Lagos State does not arise at all. We let us discuss about it. If a Labour Party, in 2019, Labour Party does not have one vote in Lagos. No, no. One vote. We don't even candidate. We don't even have candidates. Today, today, in Yaki, where I, I lead, Labour Party, a guy that just moved into the society, in the theater, just put 24,000 votes. Labour Party candidate. This is a guy that doesn't, he's just, he's, he's right in the house. He's not a hard one. He put 24,000 beating an incumbent and a bank in W. So who is going to be discussing about voter suppression? Who? In Lagos? I don't even know the guy's name. I thought of something. Okay. Uh, uh, and he's beating an incumbent so and nobody follows. And he's beating a, a bank in W has been living there the last 10 years that I know of. So nobody should discuss about Lagos voter suppression. Okay. You want to talk about voter so, okay, suppression? You, you, you're, still, you're still telling us the, the line you were telling before we're going to break. Uh, uh, um, uh, Ademi Sakai, there, please. 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I mean, uh, it's been a, a very busy couple of days for all of us. Uh, we're looking at voter suppression uh, across the country with Lagos State as a case study. Um, what are your thoughts on the reports uh, of uh, incidences of, of electoral... Yeah, I, I want, let me say my view on this um, topic is um, non-partisan. And I'm probably going to share my experiences. I'll start from 2019. I I was on the, I was on the platform on the radio station live coverage, and this was not um, callers, you know, calling to tell us what was a reporter sent out to dispute that mentioned that people were being torn back, even flogged them as a papa road in the Butemeta and uh, Ijora Atlee. That was in 2019. I'm not sitting, I just, I never sat in the comfort of my room to evaluate the elections. I'm not going to talk because of loyalty to all parties. I have to protect my party or create a perception that the party is good or the state is good. What happened in Lagos State on Saturday was shambolic, was outrageous, was, was, was distasteful. I was on the set on Saturday, a radio station with a live coverage. You know, life coverage for the election. When someone called it from Ogombo in Niger and said they came to their police unit, flocked everybody because they are saying they're going to vote for a particular party. Now that the election is over, we could mention names that they imagine they're going to vote for the Labour Party and they were flocking everybody. I went there with his wife and his they had the elders, the elders which are you about, spoke to those guys, greeted them. And the only reason it was let out of that compound was because it said, almost you abandoned me. If people think I'm lying, they could go get the off air job of that radio station. It's dead life. Yesterday I was on another platform, and Baki Dobinu called. It was put on center, and it narrated how 30 polling units were distressed for child. On Saturday, there is a polling unit in front of Queen's Park event center that even the police um, assigned to this polling unit to a devil, I like did not show up. Voter suppression, right, there was, there was, I think there was a calculated attempt to disenfranchise voters. Polling this start around that the more show acts of the 11 in some places, 12 p.m., 1 p.m. And the point you had people that gathered all day to register, by the time I never got there, there was an issue of beavers not working. There was issue of their numbers or non the or the ballots or, or the voters register. At the end of the day, it turned, it turned down to 72. There was a caller on a live program, which I monitored on start of the state radio station. The guys complained that a polling unit in Oshio refused to away from them was, was attacked. And they said that there was another set of people at his own polling unit in Oshio that they just waited for them to count. And they called rapid response, said the 737 number twice, and they told them they were coming. But they didn't show up until they snatched the ballot paper and took away the papers. We had the same issue about Mafoluku. A reporter that was sent to Yatera in Yaba said the same thing. So we would sit down in the comfort of Rizzo and be bold enough to lie to Nigerians that there was no voter suppression in the state. We shouldn't be, should, we should be truthful. You know, especially what we want in this contest in the first day. There's a cast of doubt on the integrity of the conduct. Okay, but Ade Misaka, you know, I guess um, um, Dr. Oshino has said, you know, look at the results in Lagos State. Um, uh, 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 Peter Obi of the Labour Party uh, defeated Bola Metinubu uh, of APC, former governor of the state, in Ikeja, in Ikeja, ways, which is where the state... Um, uh, capital is, you know, if you want to call it that. And that, that if there was suppression, you'll be seeing these results, you know, at it's neck and neck between Labour Party and APC in Lagos State. That shows that um, uh, this talk of voter suppression is, it can't be... Oh, sorry, I'm sorry that we're going to talk to the closing. Yeah. If there was no voter suppression in Lagos State, I'm going to say the margin would have been wider. You know what happened in Okota, Agropa in 2019? It could not happen again because there was massive deployment of soldiers to that artist. So nobody should come and peer on our face and tell us it's raining. We're not dollars in Nigeria. 
what we are pushing for is not is not quality. If you talk clean up electoral process, how do you how do you want Nigerians with the topic? How do you want to promote the tortism? You should be careful what you what you push out, nicest will push out, arguments will push out. Mm. It truth won't kill us. It makes us it makes us understand the issues we conf confronting us and how to address it. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Shino, uh, um, I mean, you've listened to uh, our guest, uh, your counterpart, uh, De Misaka, you know, mentioned some parts of Lagos State where you had, you know, these violence incidents. And um, um, are you still going to, so what do you say to that? Because when you hear, you know, the names being mentioned, I think it really makes it uh, sound real. Do you still doubt that there was violence in, in the election in Lagos on, on Saturday? I don't want to join issues with anybody. Um, it's so sad that um, I, do, I don't like to be tribalistic or mention any tribe. It's so sad that we, the Yorubas, are the enemy of ourselves. And uh, it's unfortunate. But be that as the case is, um, I maintain my stand. Uh, OB is doing very well. OB is around 540,000 votes. OB is around 40,000 votes, but unfortunately, you don't want to discuss about other states like Anambra, where other tribes are not allowed to vote. You are not balancing the report. No, where I've, I've, other I've told, tribes, told you the Yorubas, the Alusas in the are not allowed afraid. to vote. No, Dr. Shiro, I've told you you're afraid to talk about no, election I'm, violence I'm anywhere. Please, anywhere. Let me, let me, let me, anywhere. Let me, let me learn. OB is pulling 543,000 votes in Lagos, in Lagos, in Lagos, where PC has been a saddle in the last 21 years. The ruling party is pulling 550, just about 7,000 different, remaining one local government. And somebody somewhere, because you are cut away with all these uh, balloon promises, all this, all this uh, bracada figure, all this Malaysia economy, and you believe that you can sit down somewhere and you say anything you like. If anybody is entitled to his opinion, my point is and logical. I'm being I'm analyzing the data. If there are voter suppression, I'm telling you, OB will not pull one hundred votes. The figure is there. You are a journalist. The figure is there. How can OB OB who is living, who, 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 who moved to Labour Party less than six months, is able to flog a, a former governor, to win a former governor, a senator, in his local government, in his own local government, and you are saying that is voter suppression. How can that, that's unpatriotic, if anybody could say that, so I'm wondering who is talking. That's unpatriotic. Mm, okay. Okay. So, 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 you know, you know. All right. Uh, we'll come back to you, uh, um, Doc. Um, um, I was, uh, yeah, they, yeah, they miss that. Yeah, they miss that. We will still, we still, uh, we still at this point, uh, they miss that. With the, um, the, the point is, Doc is making is that you know, the, the results, um, the results should be proof that you know any talk of voter suppression probably i'm sure you agree it's just isolated incidents so are you there please demi saka can you hear me please i'm coming um yeah i, I will go by the call if the report says there are voter suppression in Anambra State, which I'm not saying it didn't happen, we'll talk about it objectively. We'll push it out objectively. And when somebody is making an argument that it's not for, if there was no voter suppression, um, Peter Abu will be able to defeat Parliament you know, in Lagos, the former governor. The only person that cannot be defeated at the polls is God. Any other person can face defeat. Obama Sonja has always been defeated in his local government in front of his house. He's a former government bigger than the former president. Please, we should wake up. The, and no matter how the voters are pressured, 
the volume, the, the population of criminals cannot, just cannot outnumber the population of the Russians that are ready to cast their vote. Has this changed my mind that I'm calling for the cancellation of the polls? Hell no! You and I bet that the United States are calling for cancellation of the polls. If it's not, even if it's not nationwide, at least some sect of, from part of the country. Yeah, no, Goa. It's on record that Pony units five minutes, ten minutes drive from from my neck office in Yenugua did not vote on Saturday, confirmed by the Anet chairman. Is that a form of voter suppression? In some instances, my neck goes to Pony unit with inadequate ballot papers. Hmm. Same okay. thing happened in Lagos. Hmm. So, Saka, in the Saka, territorial Saka, district, yeah, within the same territorial district in Lagos. You will find that they are local of a party that is not have a candidate. And the supporting unit in that central district still find the local on it. The election was messed up by Heineck. And in Lagos State, there was voter, there was voter intimidation and suppression. And that's the truth. No, but, but Saka, 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 no Saka, yeah. in Lagos State. Yes, Ademi Saka, what, what, what Doc is saying is that evidence of suppression or uh, uh, through uh, uh, political thuggery, electoral violence, would have been that the results of the election will favor a particular candidate more than the other. But we're seeing... Now, what, what, this is the mistake they are making, or they make, is when you felt we are attacking a stronghold of a particular candidate, you are forgetting that your candidate will also be voting that, for that, for that. Which one will have either reduced the numbers or probably increased the odds? But I'm saying nobody should get the results is out. But will I, am, am I still fixing that on my stand on highway? No. Okay. But that doesn't mean I should not say they're not going to defend or decantate what happened. It happened. All right. Uh, uh, Dr. Shinwa, let's look at this aspect of the entire security architecture for the elections. In particular, the, um, the provision that uh, the police officers who are going to be guarding the polling centers should not be armed. Uh, I, while on my way to work this morning, I, I looked at the way through a, a chat, a thread, or discussion, a conversation between the police public relations officer in Lagos State and uh, 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 one of the supporters, vocal supporters online of a political party, and he was talking about you know, police standing by and doing nothing, showed him a video and all of that. And the um, Lagos State Police Public Relations Officer said, you know what, what did you expect those police officers to do when they are not armed, when the party he's, the complainant supports, agreed that the police officers, you know, during election or election duty should not be armed at the polling centers, polling units. You know, so, so what do you think this has to, role this has to play uh, in all of these? Do you think we need to rethink and look again at, at, at the provisions to ensure that police officers who are polling Stair centers um, are, are armed, fully armed, and ready to deal decisively with any thugs that, that, that invade and try to attack you know, the system, the process. At the same time, um, if you could remember what I said earlier about all this uh, balloon voter suppression in Lagos, all this um, you know, daydreaming of voter suppressions, um, anybody who believes that there's this voter suppression to challenge the Lagos State Commission of Police, the GOC garrison in Lagos, who are supposed to provide security for the voters. Whereas I, I don't believe there's a voter suppression. Yes, in the, you know in the modern in the modern democracy there's no reason why any police should go with arms to police unit. You know, they don't need but if there are issues that were around you know you know harms to be deployed of course the police can call for backup. You know, everything still boils down on the failure of INEC. I will remain that. And I'm calling to the summer mood. After this election, after this declaration, after the declaration of vision, I'm calling on him to resign and go back to class. Hmm. He should go back to class. He should resign. He has failed woefully. The, the promise he made to Nigerians and the electoral guideline is that we will view the results online, real time. So the deployment of all this, he held so many meetings with the National Security Advisor, 
with the chief of the army staff, chief of air staff, the, 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 the leadership of the Nigerian police, the DSS, and other sister agencies. Okay. So if anybody is challenging or in um, in 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 uh, in, um, Paresa, in rivers in all these things, these are sh security collapse. Okay. The police needs to be there, ensure that voters, you know, perform their civic duties without hindrances. All right, doc. So thank you. Uh, that's no, why I'm yeah. saying that you cannot. So I'm calling, in a nutshell, I'm calling for Professor Mahmoud's resignation immediately after the presidential election. He has okay. failed in 2019. Dr. Yeah, Shinoa, th thank you very much. Let, let's go to Adey Misaka. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Um, you think that one way to tackle, because um, uh, Doc has said, you know, you can't expect policemen to be armed at uh, uh, polling centers. Do you think a way to tackle this will be to allow the police, you know, wear arms? Because thugs come in. The police, they step aside, they stand, watch from afar. The members of the public are left to defend themselves. Either they go and get beaten or they run away. If the police are armed, maybe we won't see these thugs attempting to attack the polling centers. Well, um, Kofi, I said it on Saturday. And I think you took it away from me. If, we are, if um, details of police officers attached as escorts, as escorts to VIPs or what have you, be arms. I think our vote is more important than most of the VIPs that those guys do with, 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 with assault rifle. Yes, there might be pockets of incidents, please, or, um, incidents rather, that you might think like, okay, fine, um, accidental discharge, but there's not like accidental discharge for you to kill somebody or shoot at somebody, you have to take off the safety and shoot. I believe if the two police officers attached to a police unit bear hands, at least an assault rifle K47 that gives you an average of 21 rounds per rifle, that is for the two bullets. I don't think if you fire for the two bullets are out, they will still come, they can be able to catch them with the, um, ballot boxes and what have you. Mm. We need to allow, change that electoral hat and allow security agents around polling booth bear hands. Because the people we are dealing with are resolute criminals. Mm -hmm. And that could, be, that, that could bring about a bad government getting into office. And we might end up paying with our lives. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have paid with their lives in Zamfara, in Sokoto and Kaduna and Kaduna because of inefficiency of government. That is a bad government. So at least if my mandate will be protected and I don't have a bad, an ineffective government in power, I probably will be alive. So I need security agents to protect my will or, and my chance to be alive through my vote. All right. Uh, it remains to be seen if this will be achieved, you know, uh, the Electoral Act. I don't know how the so power... For this, for this to be a law, yeah. we should please work on the Electoral Act. But the parties agreed to this. It's what um, is being said. You know, they agreed to it. They agreed to it. And um, uh, now they're the ones complaining. But you're saying that we need to arm our police officers um, with live rounds. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're even exposing the police officers to the officers or our security agents to danger when they are not bearing arms. Yeah. And by law yeah. and by instinct of their professional training and calling, they are meant to protect um, the ballots. Yes, the one I was mentioning at um, is it Oyate or the, the street opposite Savo Police Station, the police unit there, okay. the street that leads to McNeil. When they tried to drag the ballot box with the, at the, at the police and snatch it, the police officer resisted them. They poured the substance on that that turned out to be engine oil or lubricant. As if it was an acid, what would have happened to her? Hmm. All right, so you're saying the police officers are even endangered if they are kept in such locations without arms. Um, I want to thank yes. you. Yeah, gentlemen, I want to thank you. And so they, are, they, are, they have kids, they have wives, they have spouses, rather. Hmm. You know, you want to make their wives uh, widow, uh, widows, or you want to make the men widowers. Hmm. Okay, we have to go. We have to go. I want to thank you both um, for your time um, as we've looked at uh, electoral violence in Lagos and around the country. Uh, Doc, Dr. Oshino talked about um, Anambra State and the fact that you're about well, to you just to the news, we we'll talk about it. You allow me to make my energy. final submission. All right. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Um, Dr. Ibrahim Oshinawa is a public affairs analyst 
uh, um, day, day Misaka is also a public affairs analyst as well. General, we're glad to have had you. We'll keep talking and looking at what's happening, and I'm sure we'll have you back on very soon. All right. Uh, it's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We have another uh, a conversation coming up next. And so we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll continue before we say goodbye.